Hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. And thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming in through for November 2018. This is a general love reading, so please only take the portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe and comment as it helps to pull your energies into the reading. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thank you guys. And after the reading, I've included a take note moment, and I hope you stay tuned in for that. Okay, Sagittarius, off camera, I have blessed, shuffled, and meditated over this card reading just for you. I'd love to hear how it resonates with you in the comments section. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background. It's the basis of the matter for the month. The Nine of Swords, this is some anxiety. It's air energy, has to do with your thoughts. The Nine of Swords, this anxiety is unfounded. You need to talk about the problems that you bury. Speak up to solve these problems. You'll have thoughts racing through your head that could bring regrets and nightmares at night. Sometimes it could be a health problem. You need to speak up and maybe talk to your doctor about that. So it's because worrying is really pointless unless it drives you to take action. Maybe it'll drive you to talk to someone. Or even writing in your journal can be therapeutic because your fear is far worse than the outcome. So put two and two together Look at contradictions around you. Strengthen your resolve and your patience. And try not to feel so down by the temporary blockages. Could have been some ruined plans. And if it is health worries, you really need to take steps to solve that problem. You are near the end of your mental ordeal. So stop ignoring your fears because that would just bring insomnia and figure out what action it is you need to take. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. This can be a challenge. The Page of Swords, more air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This could be what you're worrying about because this is vigilance. Could be some news coming in about truth and justice. Could be nervousness, or someone may be behaving in a risky manner. Could be a communication about truth and justice. You might need to confront someone and use strategy. This can also be the overconfidence or ignorance of youth. These things can cause strife, maybe rumors and gossip could be a deceitful person around you. Sometimes this person, if they're behaving risky, it's not that they're malicious on purpose, but if anyone gets in their way, they will be trampled underfoot. This person is extremely strong-willed and they can be cold and calculating. They may take risks to get closer to the truth this could be news that will alert you to the truth. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. It could be your attitude. Number 15 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Devil. This is a very strong energy. Number 15, the Devil, represents bondage and restriction. These are self-imposed. This may be fear, or it could be temptation to material things that keep you chained. This is the Capricorn card. Sometimes this card represents struggling or denying addiction. This can be unfulfilled desires and maybe indulgence. But these are chains that you've put on yourself. This has to do with primal feelings and desires. Can be sex and obsession. It might be an illness, maybe depression. The 
This could be an oppressive situation or a controlling person or a controlling situation. There are illusions of helplessness. See those chains, they're loose. This has to do sometimes with shame or someone being jealous or codependent. This person, they may be shackled by ignorance, maybe even chained by the need for approval. Someone may even sacrifice without thinking what it costs. And it's a advice to be careful of how you act in a relationship. Focus on what you know, what will work and be constructive. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome. It's the results or the advice. This is a powerful new beginning. The Ace of Wands, this is fire energy. And next to a very powerful card, the devil. This is extra energy. It's ignition, the beginning of enterprise. This is fire energy and it's in constant renewal and growth. There's creation, there's ideas, there's animation. This is a glowing rush of desire. A desire to expand or create or push past restrictions. It's a tremendous upsurge of energy. It's very high passions. High passions and intimacy and relationships. This could even be conception or birth. Or it could be a birth of a new idea or a new way out of hard times. It's a spark of inspiration. And this is a gift from life. It's a positive new beginning. There's passion and excitement and fun. It's the card that says seize the day because the answer is in the doing. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The 10 of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The wheel of fortune, a new turn of luck. Number 10, the wheel of fortune. This is fate and destiny, and the wheel is turning in your favor now. This is fate and chance. It's opportunity. It's putting your plans in motion and getting results. It's taking advantage of good timing. And it is a change of fortune for the better. So events in your life are going to turn around in some fashion. Could be a surprise. But this change is inevitable because there's a karmic lesson here to be learned. You're going to become unstuck. Something has already been set into motion and now the doors are going to open and good, and good, good is going to come in. It's a reminder to go with the flow. It's an opportunity. A new chapter in your life is starting and you're going to experience a change in your circumstances. It's usually positive. And you should accept these course of events because they're going to promote your growth and advancement. It's a reminder that every period of intense activity is followed by a time of rest and inactivity. So remember to go with the flow. Thank you guys. Hey, stay tuned in and leave a comment. You know I really love them. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm keeping it positive. So here's your take note moment, your beacon of light. Guys, we should really realize that anyone's desire can be ignited in a moment, in an instant. But real fulfillment and sustainability requires seasoned wood and a long, slow burn. Thank you guys. Love and light.